Welcome back to Classic Country Breakfast on Ace Country Radio. Born on June 23rd, 1940, Australian-born country and pop singer Diana Trask. In the early 1960s, she was a regular pop music performer on the United States TV shows Don McNeil's Breakfast Club and Sing Along with Mitch. From 1968 to 1981, she was a country music singer in the U.S., and in Australia. In the U.S., she had 18 singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. She called into the show so we could celebrate her on her birthday. Where did you grow up in Australia? I grew up in Warburton, which is a small town about 60 miles out of Melbourne up in the mountains. You know, it's one of the most beautiful spots on earth. I I must have done something very, very good in my past life to have ended up there. But of course, as a young young person you just think it's shutting you in you want to get out you know but I went back many 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 times it was actually a repatriation center for all the soldiers in World War II that had um, you know mental damage and they built a huge hospital up there for them and uh, I remember seeing them walking around the Americans you know they were rest and recuperation stuff they they'd come out of battle and they'd go up there in the mountains and you know did see a few of them around. When did you become so interested in music? My mom was a music teacher up in the mountains there and she had uh, quite a few students uh, that would come into the home and she'd teach them at the piano and I was the little kid that was in the background saying I know the answer to that question. (laughs) I've searched my soul I've searched for gold Looks like I've finally found Seen the rainbows in time and again, and walk completely around it. But this must be my ship. This in. must be my ship. This in. must be my ship coming in. This must be my ship. I said it must be my ship. This in. must be. and Sammy Davis Jr. in Australia? Yes, when they came down to Australia, they needed what we called um, um, Australian content, you know, in their shows. So um, I got the job, and because I'd been singing around Melbourne and Sydney. I had gone to Sydney when I was 17, and much to my parents' horror, and went up there and started, you know, banging around the nightclubs and getting to know the musicians and what have you, and... Uh, I had a wonderful friend who kind of took care of me up there, just a friend I met up there, um, who was an actor, and um, he was sort of like my brother, and um, he used to call me the Virgin Mary, (laughs) because I was a convent girl, you know, in this nightlife, so he was very careful looking after me, and and, uh, I was very lucky in that way, so uh, I got 
a, a reputation, you know, as a singer. And so I was hired by Lee Gordon, who was the promoter of all the big American shows that went down to Australia as the front end act for all of the incoming American acts. So I was the Australian content and I got to fly all over Australia and be with the big stars. And it was quite a heavy experience for a young 17, 18 year old girl, believe me. Music was my say because it's an international language, you know. But I did play all the dumps in the world. You know? <laughs> and then one day I got a phone call from Mitch Miller, and he said uh, he wanted to record me and see how I sounded. So he paid for a session in Chicago, and I went in there with just a small band and did a few songs and sent them to him. And he called me back, and said I want to talk to you. I want to do a big television show, so I want you to I want to talk to you about it. So I said, gee, I think I'll I'll make time for that one. <laughs> And uh, we got together and he explained to me he was putting together this television show, which was like sing-along. And I went, my heart sank because I was into jazz at the time, you know. And I thought, oh no, this is gonna be the corniest thing in the world. But of course I didn't turn it down. To the ends of the earth, I follow my star. of 
the earth I'll follow my star To the ends of the earth Just to be where you are No matter where you roam I'll never be far behind Who cares where the past may wind As long as I find you Though the melody dies The song lingers on And a thousand goodbyes won't convince me you're gone. I'll follow you, my love, you'll never be free. To the ends of the earth till you've given your love to me. So um, I just didn't like the idea of going to England. I said, I, you know, because... I used to watch uh, Leave It to Beaver. You know that show? Yeah. <laughs> I, and I thought, yeah, golly gee, Wally. And I thought they were just wonderful people. <laughs> I thought, gee, I'd like to go and live with people like that and see what it's like. And plus, I had been rubbing shoulders with all the great Americans that came down, you know, and asked them a thousand questions. And they all took me under their wing. They were just absolutely wonderful to me. Uh, especially, especially Nat King Cole's brother and his wife. I don't know if you even know he has a brother. Oh, I know. No, well, he had a brother down there and his wife, and they were just fabulous to me, you know. And there was many stars like that that just went out of the way to explain it to me. And like, yeah, I should come to America. Unforgettable. That's what you are. Unforgettable Though near or far Like a song of love That clings to me How the thought of you Does things to me Never I went to New York and tried around there, did a few things, but somebody suggested to my husband, why don't you take her to Nashville and see how she'd do doing country music? Well, when Tom said that to me, I thought I would be doing hillbilly, you know, hillbilly. And uh, he said, well, look, don't make a decision. Just listen to that music for, you know, a couple of weeks and then tell me your decision. So I listened to it and I found singers that were talking about my life. You know, it wasn't some fancy pie in the sky thing. It was like, you know, getting up in the morning and doing the washing. And, um, you know, 
real relationships, great singers, great songwriters, um, not with all the strings and all the hooli par, just plain old rhythm sections, but boy, those writers were incredible. They were right on, you know. So I, I developed a real interest in it, and so we decided to up and move to Nashville. <laughs> and you recorded so, Patsy Klein, I Fall to Pieces. And then I recorded I Fall to Pieces, went, went up the charts, yes, and I was nominated for the top country music singer of the of the year, so that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Do you know who won so, that year? Uh, yeah, Tammy Wynette, Stand By You Men. Uh, you should have won, sorry. Country Radio, part two of my interview with Diana Trask. She tells stories about touring with Hank Williams Jr. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> John Air takes pride in providing affordable HVAC service that is convenient and reliable. Air conditioning and heating systems are vital to the comfort and ambience of your home. For dependable quality service, call John Air at 775-751-2372. 